Hey, guess what? My first ever merch drop is here. If you're interested, click the link below to pre-order now. What's up, Anartax? Welcome back to the channel. If you recognize my surroundings, then that means you have seen my 100 builds in 100 days video. If you haven't, I'll link it in the video and in the description box below so you can check it out before watching this. Now, if you've seen that video, you know that all the builds are empty on the inside, and that kind of made me sad. So over on Twitch, where I live stream, we've been decorating the inside of these builds together. We've also been having mini giveaways on stream where you guys can get your name on a build. Now, I know that not everybody can make it to streams, time zones are a thing, and some of you just don't have Twitch or can't watch Twitch. I put a poll up asking you guys if you wanted to see decorating progress, and a lot of you said yes. So that's what today's video is. I'm gonna share some highlights from streams and I'm gonna give you a tour of what we've done so far. Because then they come in and they shop and they have to go around this way and like check out and then, oh my God, I'm stuck. Why am I stuck? What is this? There is an invisible force field. I can't walk. Help me. Is it this? <gasps> ah, there's nothing here. I'm stuck. Where is it? There is something invisible in my game blocking me. I fixed it. I, that was really weird. That was really weird. I, mm. It's okay, world edit saved the day. Are we adding bathrooms to these builds? Does every apartment and house have to have a bathroom? Can we just pretend there's a hole in the backyard to pee in? <laughs> pee pot, please. <laughs> wait, you remember the pee pot? <laughs> wait, 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 is the pot in here? Is it in here? Oh my god, it's in here. Guys, the pea pot. We have the pea pot. Every apartment gets a pea pot. Pea pot, pea pot, pea pot, pea pot. Pea pot store. Where could we put that? I, I like this. I'm encouraging this idea. Where? <laughs> Where? Do we do the furniture store and just have like a specials? A specials pea pot section. Uh, <laughs> uh, yep. Hello. Stop freaking out. No! Are you serious? Are you serious? The door's open, the door's open, the door's open, the door. <sighs> Go back upstairs. Go back upstairs. Are you eating that fish out of the item frame? What's happening? has hearts but it's it's look it's eating the numbers going down it's eating it doesn't want to be tamed it's eating all of my fish what the heck hello sir do you want me to like throw it oh that scared you do you want the fish eat the fish eat the fish eat the fish eat the fish come on eat the fish i don't understand Why? Why did it take that long? Somebody explain. Um. <gasps> what just happened? One spawn egg just made an adult and two babies. Is that? I. Was that supposed to happen? Fish, 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 fish. <gasps> oh my god! So the first build that we decorated was the ice cream store right here on the corner. As you can see, we have a name right here because this is the user that won the giveaway to own the store. So that is now the owner of the ice cream shop. And if we go inside, this is what it looks like. So we have some cute little pastel tables and chairs. We've got some pink carpet on the floor by the counter. And of course we have all the ice cream flavors. Now, sometimes on stream, we do things that's not planned. Live streams can be spontaneous, and that's why they're so much fun. Originally, this build was just an ice cream place, but we actually added an apartment on top of it. So if we walk around the back of this build, there is now a staircase leading up. So here is our miniature apartment. We've got a little baby living room, a baby bedroom, a baby kitchen, and uh, that's the bathroom. Uh, this, is, this is the pea pot. The pea pot has um, become quite a thing on stream. It's a very old joke that has come back and it basically originated from me building on my Crafted with Gathnum world and somebody asked me to add a bathroom and I didn't want to so I made a dumb joke saying that they can just pee in a pot uh, and then I put a pot down and now it's, it, it's become a thing. 
as we tour more builds, uh, you'll see more peapots. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, uh, this is a little baby apartment and this is the owner. The next build we worked on was the furniture store and uh, remember how two seconds ago I mentioned the peapot thing? Well, um, here it is. <laughs> right at the front of the furniture store, we've got peapots and a little sign that says on sale peapots two for five dollars. Yep. The owner of the furniture peapot store is uh, Katie, uh, so congratulations on that. And this is what the inside looks like. It's a relatively small store, so there's not that much furniture on display, but it gets the point across, so it's fine. The next build that we worked on was the food store all the way down this way. And I had some people in the chat say that this reminded them of the Crafted with Catherine season one grocery store, which I totally agree with. I kind of did a really similar layout. It's definitely not as big as that one, but it is very similar. So we have our fruit section, our vegetable section, we've got some fish. We made uh, a cotton candy section. In the middle here, we have a little soup bar. This is our refrigerator freezer section, but uh, it's just full of milk. Over here, we have the bakery, and then these are just like the little checkout counters. It's pretty simple, but I think it's cute. We also ended up changing the block on the outside from just like white concrete to the brick instead. And this is the new owner of the food store. Over here, we have the toy store and the new owner of the toy store is Yellow Frog. Now, if we go inside, obviously there's a bunch of toys in here, but I kind of organized them into different sections. So this is my Minecraft animal section. We have a squid, a wolf, a cow, a sheep, a pig, and a creeper plushie. Over here, we just have uh, a bunch of sheep because it was requested and I really like the idea. <laughs> Back here, we have a bunch of pink toys. So we have an alpaca, a piggy bank, a doll, a unicorn, Corn, another pig plushie, and a Kirby plushie. Back towards the front of the store, we have a section of animal plushies. So we have some bunnies, we've got a bear, a frog, a monkey, and a squirrel. Then if we head upstairs, we have some more toys, but this one, this specific section actually is not themed. These are just all the other toys that I had. So we've got things like a Totoro plush, a Pikachu plush, an elephant, and a dinosaur. And then over here, we have some electronics. So on the bottom row, we've got a bunch of switches. And on the top, we have a bunch of older consoles. Now you can't really see too much of the downstairs from up here, but we did add a baby balcony. Next, we went back down the street and we worked on the arcade. Now, this is another thing that got switched up a little bit. So, you know how this building behind me was supposed to be an arcade on the bottom with an apartment on top? Well, we changed our minds. Do you guys know about those cool internet cafe things? Well, we basically made that. So, on the bottom floor of this building, here is the arcade owner but this is the arcade. It's a bit small. I feel like I could have done a bit more with this, but I really didn't know how to fill the space. We have some dance machines and basketball games in the front, and then we have like the classic arcade machines. Of course, we have a prize wall along the back of the room, and we made the fairy lights twinkle. Now, when we started decorating this, I did not plan how to get to the next floor, so I didn't build any stairs. I tried building stairs along the back of the building, but it just looked really weird. So if you want to go up to the next floor, uh, you got to go up a ladder. <laughs> Once you get up the ladder, though, this is where all the cool computers are. So people can come here, they can sit, they can play their favorite video games. If they want to, they can grab a snack from the vending machine. Uh, use the pea pot, or they can go upstairs to the top floor where the cafe is. So we have Frog Lover as the owner of the computer floor, and we have Sydney as the owner of the upstairs cafe. Now the next build I'm gonna show you is actually something that does not exist in the 100 builds in 100 days video. Remember how I said that streams can be spontaneous? Well, we added a new build. I'm pretty sure the longer I stream decorating in this world, the more builds we're gonna add just because there are a bunch of things that I didn't add, like a school, I didn't add a museum. So there's a bunch of things that we're gonna be adding along the way. That's why you should come watch the stream so you can give me your input. But anyway, let me show you the build. So if we walk back this way behind these strips of stone, over here, we have a cat cafe. Look how cute this is. It's so pastel and beautiful. We have a little table set up in the front. We have pink and white windows. We have more twinkly pink and blue fairy lights. Of course, I had to make a paw-shaped window. And everybody in the chat wanted me to make cat ears on the roof, but I kind of struggled for a long time. And I don't really think they look like cat ears. It kind of looks like 
a mouse or a bat, but we're just gonna pretend these are cat ears. So anyway, if we go inside, on the bottom floor, we have the cute cafe. As you can tell, we use really cute pink and pastel colors in here. We've got some tables set up with treats on them. And then you can come over here, you can order some fish to tame the cats, or you can order yourself a snack. Oh, and if you're wondering where the pea pot is, <laughs> We hid it under the stairs. <laughs> but yeah, so cafe is on the bottom and then the place to play with the cats is upstairs. Look how cute they are. Uh, we have a situation. When I last logged off, there were two untamed baby ocelots and now they're gone. Maybe we'll find them running around town. <laughs> but anyway, this is where all the customers and the cats can play together. There's toys everywhere. We've got some litter boxes, a cat tree, and these blue and purple things are also kind of like cat trees. If you ignore the knitting needles in that basket over there, uh, we're all collectively pretending that this is a basket of cat toys. At the beginning of my next stream, we're planning on naming all these cats after you guys. So if you want one of these cats named after you, make sure to join the giveaway in chat. But now if we go outside, you'll see that the owner of the cafe section is Bri and the owner of the upstairs cat area is Fluffy Cow. All right guys, well, those are all the builds that we've decorated so far on stream. Let me know in the comments which one you like the best. And also let me know if you like these recap videos. If you do, I'll make sure to do them every week until everything is decorated in this world. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll see you next time. Bye.